In this video, I'm going to talk to you about Google penalties and how do you figure out whether your website has been impacted by a Google penalty. Now, if you go to Google and you search for what is a Google penalty, you'll get the standard definition. But basically what it is, is that um, your website will suddenly lose traffic. Uh, you'll disappear from the search results. Your organic traffic will go through the floor. No one will get to the site. You'll stop making sales. That's the net net of a Google penalty. Now there are two types of Google penalties. Um, there's a manual penalty and there's what's called an algorithmic penalty. Now a manual penalty occurs when a Google reviewer looks at your website and determines that you are doing things that are not in accordance with the webmaster guidelines. The quality guidelines that Google puts out says that you are not to do certain types of activity which are considered manipulative and if you break those rules they have the right to penalize the site and they'll put on a, man a manual penalty uh, and there are ways to recover from that. The other type of penalty is an algorithmic or an automated penalty and they're much harder to recover from. They take a lot more time you um, basically because there's no human involved it's, it's the Google algorithm uh, that's determined that your site has broken rules. And there are a number of different algorithmic penalties. The two big ones that you may have heard of are Google Panda and Google Penguin. And Google Panda is all about quality, site quality, linking quality, and Google Penguin is all about manipulative linking. So if you get um, dodgy, uh, over-optimized links, you know, links with your keywords in them um, that are all designed to game your ranking to manipulate the rankings then the 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 engine can figure it out now if you want to get a sense of what types of algorithms are are happening i mean google updates the algorithm probably 500 times a year and if you go to moz.com and go to a page called the google algorithm change history you'll get a real sense of all of the major updates in google um, in the algorithm uh, that you need to deal with. But the two big ones we're talking about is Panda and Penguin. So in this video, what I'm going to do now is show you a couple of ways of dealing with the um, penalties, figuring out whether you've got one. So the first thing you need to do is you, uh, and assuming I'm assuming here you already have Google Analytics installed on your website so you can go and check your organic traffic but what we're going to do is see whether you've had a large drop off in Google organic traffic and there's a great tool out there um, that I'm going to show you how to use that overlays the updates in the algorithm against your organic traffic in your analytics and so you can marry up uh, the algorithm updates to your site uh, to your traffic so what you want to do is um, search for a tool called Penguin tool. It's an unusual name. It's P-A-N-G-U-I-N tool. Simply click on that result. Uh, it's a, from a company called Barracuda Digital and they created this tool to really make it easy for you to um, to uh, analyze your analytics traffic and compare it against the algorithm updates. Now what I'm doing now is I'm going to the Penguin tool website and what I'm going to do is log into Google Analytics. So you'll see that uh, the Penguin tool page comes up. I simply click on log into analytics. Now you need to make sure that you're logged into the correct Google account to which your analytics account is attached. So in this case here, I'm going to navigate to my primary account. And I actually just click accept and I actually have a client website and I'm obviously going to obscure the data but I've got a client website here that I can show you who has been impacted by uh, a Google update so what I'm going to do is just find their website and what you do is you select the working profile in your analytics account and let's see right now if you look at the screen in front of you um, what we have is your organic traffic right all the organic traffic for this website and those vertical bars represent the different algorithm updates that have occurred over time so what you want to do is look at your organic traffic and see whether a precipitous drop in organic traffic that you can see here has occurred whether that marries up with an update one of the algorithms. So in this case here, if I just deselect 
some of these just to clean up the lines and sort of have a look which ones match up. And let's have a look. See, see this big drop here in May? This update here, if I just click on that, was a major update in Google Panda. And the Penguin tool will give you some information on it. Right. So now, by looking at this tool, we can see that this large drop in organic traffic was closely tied to this update in the Google Panda algorithm. So at least now we know, right? So now we've got a better sense where where we have the we have you know confirmation that the website traffic has dropped because of this update, and then we can take uh, the right steps to fix it. Right. So that's the first thing using the Penguin tool from Barracuda Digital to analyze your organic traffic in, in analytics. Now the other thing that you can do is simply go to Google and see if your website is still indexed. Now if you look up here in the Google search box, there is a command called the site command. So it's site colon and then www.yourdomain.com. And if you insert that into Google and click search, you'll see a list of pages. And if your site has been penalized or de-indexed completely, your website won't be here. Um, so that's the first thing you want to check is your website still in the Google index so by running this site command over your domain so instead of domain.com you put www.yourdomain.com um, and if your pages are here well that's a good thing at least it's indexed right um, the other thing you can do is do a Google search for your brand name sometimes um, if you've done something completely dodgy Google will completely remove your website um, from the search results even when searching for your company name and the third thing I'm going to talk to you about now, about whether or how to check if, if you've had a penalty or any of that sort of impact on your website, is we are going to look at Google Webmaster Tools. Google Webmaster Tools is your friend. Now, in this case here, I've got an, another uh, account open. Fortunately for you, I have a Webmaster Tools account which had a history of a manual and an algorithmic penalty so with the current version of webmaster tools you can simply click down to search traffic and click on manual actions and if a Google reviewer has looked at your website and placed a manual penalty on your website you'll get a message here right uh, um, this is a relatively recent edition in the past they just sent you a nasty message and I've got an example of that here so under site messages um, back in 2012 when the major updates in the uh, in Google were occurring uh, Google would send out a message here saying that they've detected unnatural links to your website and so this is the type of message it would say dear site owner we've detected some of your pages may be using techniques that are outside of Google's webmaster guidelines uh, specifically look for possible artificial or unnatural links pointing to the site so you get a message like this you basically know you're in trouble you've been found out and you've got dodgy links to your website that you need to address and so um, <laughs> you then need to take remedial action and in this case here for this website I had to go through a process of uh, submitting the website for reconsideration after I had taken uh, the right action to remove um, any of the backlinks that were you know, violating Google's quality guidelines. And in this case here, after several reconsideration requests, they removed the uh, manual penalty on this website and we got it back into the search results. And so that's the third way. So let's just re recap again. So if you want to check that you've got a Google penalty, first thing you want to do is drop into your Google Analytics and see what your organic traffic has been like for the last three months, six months, 12 months. Um, use the Penguin tool from Barracuda Digital, overlays the algorithm updates on top of your organic traffic and that allows you to marry up updates in the algorithm to uh, changes in your organic traffic. Um, the second thing you can do is to check whether your pages are still indexed, uh, whether you rank for your brand name search and the third thing you can do is check Webmaster Tools. And Webmaster Tools under Search Traffic, Manual Actions, or check the messages. Uh, so those three steps are going to give you a good idea as to whether you've got a any manual or algorithmic penalties on your site. And if you do, at least you know. And then if you know, you can start to take remedial steps and remedial action to fix those things. Um, 
I'll have more links to additional resources and reading on this on this topic uh, below this video.